For your pain. Uh oh. Pleasure <laughs> for your pain. <laughs> Little something for the game. Uh oh. Somebody been reading. Hey. I had to get up on my lyrics because we got a lyricist up in the building. Tell the people who you hear. Hey. It's your boy Diligent. Yes. The one that's militant. Oh. There's no equivalent. You want to be stealing it. And I'm still killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. I can't follow that. Woo. I can't follow that. <laughs> so we just gonna let the show go. <laughs> it's your boy, you know. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, hey, I just, follow that. Yeah, he just started right off the top. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said, sure. screw y'all. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I'm out of my league, bro. <laughs> right. Shout out to Soundproof Hunger Room for sure. Oh, man. Thank we appreciate you, you coming, Thank you for coming, man. bro. We appreciate sure. that, bro. Thank you coming, man. First, I, first off, man, uh, like I said, we actually, you've been the talk of this table for a minute. Oh, you? wow. I, That's yeah, absolutely, yeah. bro. That's and, love. And, and, and not even, I'm going to be honest, not even on the music, just the way that you move, man. You just a solid type dude. I First of all, you came in here. With gifts. With <laughs> gifts. Huh? He I got, got his on. He, he, he got his on. I ain't playing with him. He came in here with gifts. Huh? It ain't okay. 7.59. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. It ain't 8 a.m. Huh? Uh, uh, he showed up with gifts. With gifts. Hey. Huh? Hey, hey, times way he showed up with gifts. Yeah. Personalized, man. <laughs> that tell, tell, you love it, man. Shy? He showed uh, up with gifts. Hey. hey, you just going to shoot at the other people oh, like that? Yeah. Bang, bang. <laughs> huh? I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> hey, no, okay, what's <laughs> you just going to shoot at them like that? Yeah, appreciate that. I look at the box. Breakfast Club. They got all kind of bottles behind them. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> we ain't gonna forget you, Sauce Man. You left here last oh, week man. and took all them bottles you came with, bro. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Uh, he showed up with gifts. <laughs> and Corey, you do that for everybody, man. I yeah. when you when you came, I was like, oh, one day he gonna have that blue bag because you usually have a blue bag. Yeah, 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 for so sure. I said, so he stepped it up. Yeah, I the... switched it up a bit. <laughs> and we, we appreciate, appreciate it, bro. It, man. Love, yeah, we appreciate, absolutely, we appreciate man. that, absolutely. Man. Hey, man, y'all doing y'all thing out here, man. Definitely subscribe to the channel, and you know I, yes. I'm in tune, man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. We so appreciate much. it, man. Sure. Appreciate, appreciate that. that. Y'all heard the man. <laughs> Be diligent Sub- <laughs> and subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Hit sure. the like button. Hey, <laughs> that's right. Great content. Yeah. Sure. So, Corey, what, first off, where you from? Hey, man. Born and raised, man. Southwest Atlanta, man. Uh, Southwest, man. Southwest oh, Atlanta, too okay. strong, man. Okay. That's what's up. Sure. Yes, indeed. And what? what I, you hey, know, man. I had to. No, it ain't even that, man. I like I like what he say that shit. Uh, I like what he say. It, yeah, see, I can't say it like that because I ain't from around there. I mean, I feel y'all feel. Yeah, you keep it behind it. Yeah, it, 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 it come, it come out better when he say it. Call it, call it, call it, Yeah, call it, call it, call it, call It's all but, the same. But you also got some deep roots in our music and our hip hop, right? Uh, talk talk about that a little bit. Okay, well, it actually started back in my middle school days. Um, I attended Bunch Middle School, and I actually attended elementary and middle school with um, crisscross mm-hmm. and um that's really where my motivation for rapping came because mm-hmm. when and i know we all familiar with it when jump came out mm-hmm. yeah. how big it was oh yeah right and man to see both of my good friends just man just travel the world mm. uh tour with michael jackson you know everything they did different world sprite commercials right. you know it goes on and on that was the motivation for me to start rapping okay. when crisscross made it actually um i went to middle school with young dro too Okay. And all of us were in the same grade. Like Chris Smith, Daddy Matt shot Chris, and Dro were in the same class. Okay. They had, actually, Dro sat behind Chris. See, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So okay. that's where how me and Dro started rapping when Chris Cross made it. Oh, that's and awesome. actually, uh, Daddy Matt gave me my rap name, Dillard. Oh, yeah. So that's where it comes from. Oh, okay. When I went that's to school with me, I went to Camp Creek. You, uh, Chris and Kelly. He was under, he was a year behind me. Rest in peace. Yeah, Chris Rest Kelly. Indeed, yeah. yeah. He went to Bunch, sixth grade year. And then he came and to Camp, Camp Creek, Creek yeah. Grade, yeah. yeah. I was in the eighth. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Man. For sure. Yeah, That's what's man. up, man. Yeah. Yo, I got I got a question for you, man. Mm-hmm. You when you mentioned that you you started rapping, you not only started but 
I'm not from I'm not from down here. Mm-hmm. So when I first met you, you know, we started talking about music and things. Absolutely. And, and one day I heard you spit. Mm-hmm. So then I asked my homeboy, I like, man, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he gave me some history on you. Mm-hmm. They had a freestyle competition or something mm-hmm. down here, and mm-hmm. you won like forever. Yeah, um, <laughs> he's there forever. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, he won for a while. Though. Yeah, you're, yeah, 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 pretty yeah. damn good. Uh, yeah, what Ralph is uh, referring mm-hmm. to is um, back in 2002, uh, I was on Hot 107.9, and uh, they had a okay. uh, that's when Coco Brother was on, so before ET. Okay. So um, they had a freestyle Friday segment every Friday within the six to ten segment. And you went down there and you battled off the air to get a chance to battle on air. Oh, okay. Okay. So you had okay. to battle like twice even just get on get the radio. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so, um, you know, I went down there and like Ralph said, it was actually uh, 10 weeks. Wow. Yeah. I went 10 weeks straight and then they re- had to retire me. Yeah. After oh, 10 weeks. So you I didn't lose. Winning. No. They uh-huh. kicked you out. Well, you know, at first when I, because <laughs> <laughs> you were killing for well, well, at first when I first went, I lost, you know, I started, I was losing, you know, I was like, Beat the first guy, lose to the second guy. Like I okay. almost get there, right. and, okay. and, and I just kept going back, man. I just, you know, being diligent, you know, okay. and just kept going back, going back, and then it was my time. And okay. you know, I, like I said, I went ten weeks. They retired me, and you know, it was just a great experience. Man. Hey man, some people rap careers don't last yeah. ten weeks. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. this man, I mean, that's that's a feat in itself, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um. What gives you the drive to keep doing it? You know what it is? Um, I think a part of it is going back with, you know, growing up with Criss Cross and Dro, just seeing their success and, you know, seeing that, you know, how proud I am of them. You know what I'm saying? And every time they accomplish something, just make you want to go harder. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, I remember just going back to 2006, I remember when Dro came out with Shoulder. Mm-hmm. And how big it did, kind of yeah. like how Chris Cross yeah. would jump, right. and I was, that just that just motivate. You know, you see one of your friends, you know, be successful and do everything. It makes you want to go harder. Right. And even even if I never knock on wood, if, even if I never reach their level of success, I'm still content in what I have accomplished. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right. And so, but another part of it, I'm I'm God driven, bro. I right. pray every morning. Yes. And, yes. And, I understand that, you know, there's a higher power. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I just put it in God's hands. You know, I know Sean referred to it with me giving all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, that that's God's dream. That's right. purpose yeah. driven. You know, I don't want anything from it. Right. You know, mm-hmm. I use my own money to do it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a, a, a lot of people say, why don't you just sell your shirts? I don't want to sell them. Mm-hmm. I, I just want to put it out there. That's genuine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. 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 when it's genuine, it, it, it comes It ain't easy. about the money all the time. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, and let me, let, me, let me say this, man, because... I know so a lot of people are gonna see this, hopefully millions and millions will see it. Yeah. And they hear you say the name, you know, Criss Cross mm-hmm. and Young Dro. Yeah. These ain't name drops for him. No. These are yeah, his friends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These his brothers. Yeah. So I don't want nobody to take this and, and, and think that this brother just name dropping people he, he know from back in the day. You could check this man Facebook today. And who, who and you gonna see on there? You definitely gonna see Dro on there. <laughs> real relationship. You definitely shout out to Dro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Relationship. You, you definitely gonna see Dro, yeah. and and you gonna see yeah. which the Almighty is what they call them, right? Uh-huh. Uh huh. You gonna see the Almighty uh-huh. all on this man? Y'all don't know who the Almighty is. I'm gonna uh-huh. let him tell you. Yeah, hey, the G double O D I E M O B man. Shout out to the Goody Mob. Goody Mob. I mean, and let me, and I got I got a story for you. Okay. Okay. Me and uh Cannon, me and Harry went to uh Dr. Last year, all right, and uh, in the front was Timo. All right, you know, sometimes I be, you know, I be like, let me see what's really good out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me see if this is authentic. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So me and Timo waiting to go to the to the restroom. Right. We on the plane. Mm-hmm. You know, I just struck up a little conversation. Nothing major. You know, I don't want to bother the man. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But I mentioned your name. Mm. But I mentioned Dillage, Right. And you know what he said. What he said? Oh, you talking about Corey? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, shout out Mo Goody, but, man. But but not only did he, to me that was like he addressing his friend. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's I thought love. that was extra dope. That's love. But man. then he said how much he appreciates you, bro. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know this story because no, I ain't no. I ain't I ain't never even, told it. No. I didn't come back to work to tell you <laughs> no. what it was. No. You know what no. I'm saying? So it's it's funny that we here today yeah. that I can say <laughs> that, but that that's a real story. Oh wow. 
You know what I'm saying? That's a real story. Hey, he said how much they appreciate what you do for them, bro. Wow, but Ralph, man, that's my favorite rapper. I mean, we know Goody Mob came out in 95, mm. and I was, you know, a 15-year-old kid, you know, and, man, just the influence that they had in my life. Like, for example, um, my mother passed in 2000, rest in peace to mm. my mom. Mm. That's okay. And, um, man, I remember playing Guess Who, which is on Soul Food album. Uh-huh. Man, the song that they dedicate to their mothers. Their mothers and, right. you know, I I remember telling Siegel, I was like, man, I listened to that song on repeat when my mom passed. Like, you all's music got me through some hard times. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you see me on social media repping as hard as I am, it's like I'm saying thank you. Right. Because was, I was the only child, so I didn't okay. have a, a brother or right. a sister. You know, I mean, okay. I have half brothers and sisters, but, you know, they're in Memphis. Right. Okay. And, but, you know, I didn't have no one there for me. I was my mom's only child. Okay. okay. That, my dad's true. But, man, that music really was influential and just, man, it really got me through some tough times. And I honestly got to say, I wouldn't be the man I would be today if it wasn't for a goodie mm. That's, That's sure. dope. That's, That's dope. dope. That's, That's dope. dope. That's dope. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you still make music. Yeah. To this day. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. You got a CD that dropped. Three, four months ago? Yeah, yeah, 8 okay. a.m. Sure. 8 a.m. Uh-huh. Okay. Talk to the people about that, bro. Well, man, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is uh, the rap duo that I'm in. It's myself and Anon DeGrio, who's on your shirt as well. I know okay. Orlando Rock. Right? Okay. And um, we actually met at Morehouse. We okay. met at Morehouse College in uh, 1997. And um, we became, it was a clique of us. We were called Divine Mind. Divine Mind Entertainment. And so in our adult years, we just graduated to Divine Sons. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when we um when we came together, we were just like, hey, man, we should be a group. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. 8 a.m., we were in the same class at 8 a.m. in the morning, physical science. So oh, that's why you wow. see the beat. Okay. 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 Now, yeah. it, okay. now yeah. it's all coming. Right. 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 Now it's all right. coming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's what 8 a.m. in the morning comes from. Okay. 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 So, but yeah, Ralph said it. Yeah, the CD's out 8 a.m. in the morning on all digital platforms. Um, The video's out 8 a.m. Another one. Yep. And um, Cujo actually put the single out for us. So I definitely got oh. Okay. Shout out Cujo. Good Another one. Hey, man, my favorite song yeah. on there is Cascade, man. <laughs> That's funny because the next uh, the next video is supposed to be Cascade. Hey, oh, man, yeah. man. So I'm going to need y'all out there. I'm going oh, to yo, yo, I'm gonna need y'all to check out yeah. Cascade, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's my favorite song Appreciate on there, man. It, man. Absolutely. It, man. I want to listen yeah. to that. For but sure. it's another part yeah. of you that people don't know, man. Like, uh, let me, okay. I guess I'm, 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 I guess I'm you today. I'm going to let you do what you do, bro. Let me, let me say this about, let me say this about Diligent, man. Mm-hmm. When I first heard him spit, man, and this ain't a knock on the South. Mm-hmm. So everybody please understand what I'm about to say, but I thought you was from up top somewhere, man. I get that a lot. I thought you was from up top. For um, sure. For sure. He has bars, bro. And, and, he got passion in his bars, but it's something else that he do. What's that? Me and uh, another brother of mine, <laughs> we went to witness it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. Brother, a battle rapper, bro. Show up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sure. And he uh, he was on a popular... Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to let him tell y'all <laughs> what he did. Um, what Ralph is uh, referring to, I was actually in um, a battle league called Grind Time. Okay. At, at this time, I think that was what, maybe 2007, somewhere? Something like that. Something like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. It had to be, it had to be teen something. I didn't get 10. down here to 09. 09, okay. So, oh. man, yeah, maybe, two, maybe 2010. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're okay. Right, yeah. So, 09 and 2010, they were the world largest rap battle league at the, at time. the time. At the time. And I know me and Orlando was talking before the show. They had different divisions. They had a Georgia division. They had a Florida division. Oh, okay. They had a, um, a Cali division. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a New York division. And um, and I became part of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I started as a fan watching. Mm-hmm. And then when they opened up a Georgia division, I went and auditioned. Okay. And then they liked what they saw. And so that's how I got in. It's a grind time. Okay. And so, um, yeah, I had a battle. And I remember that night because uh, I think uh, Carrie and Justin's birthday party was at night. Absolutely. At Bobby yep. Dodd Stadium. Yeah, Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. And so, Flesh. Wow. So, Big time. Yeah. And, and so, my man Flesh okay. shot the Flesh. Um, he and I had the same barber. Shot the wheel. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? And, um, 
<laughs> and Flesh came. He said, man, we're going to come to your battle, man. And, you know, Flesh serious, you know. And I think like, man, mm. I, he, he, they may come. I don't know they'll come. Man, I pulled up that man, Flesh and Raffle. Hell, man. We was there before him, Before man. me. I walked <laughs> in. They were already in there. That's Lord. And they them like, boys got you back. And you know, Flesh, yeah. you know. If Flex, I ain't after you win. Right. Go to the party. Like yeah. Yeah. It won't that's, go to the party oh, and celebrate. Yeah. You that's know right. What I'm right. Hey, I so, met Cool Joe Goody that night for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I got so, one question too. Um so. you said different states had different divisions. Yes. Um which states or divisions where you have to get out of your mind, you know what I mean? Like, yo, they heavy up here or mm-hmm. you know, you had to be on your A game. Man, to be honest, man, I say uh West Coast, because that's where Grind Time started in the okay. West Coast. So it was a lot of heavy hitters over there. You had Awkwards. And I know some of the names. I know rap be familiar with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awkwards, like the, the, Aquas, the Sars, Immaculate, A Disaster. Yeah. You know, I know he battled cannabis. And, and uh, man, uh, New York had a lot of hitters. Uh, PH, Recipes to PH, Team Hummy, mm-hmm. uh, Sway Seva, uh, that Man, they had, yeah, New York and Cali had. Killers, I guess you got to be on point because somebody out there to take you out. Yeah, Georgia had them too, though. John John the Don, uh, mm-hmm. Sawyer Boy, uh, who else got Briss Belvedere, you know, and they all been on URL, especially John John. I know he's a popular battle rapper. And so, uh, yeah, man, it was some killers, man. Definitely. Hey, definitely. Go ahead, go ahead. Is there like any unreleased uh, songs you got out there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's funny you brought that up. We're trying to debate if we're going to do another 8 a.m. album mm-hmm. or another Diligent project. Gotcha. Right. And um, so I'm leaning towards the Diligent project. I like the sound song. of that yeah. Diligent project. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, we got some unreleased stuff out there. We definitely going to put it out there. That's what's up. Sure. Now, sure. now, with your connections with, you know, people that are pretty solid within the industry, mm-hmm. um, how often have you worked with them or anything or have you worked yeah, with? Um, well, speaking about Goody Mob, um, the first time I worked with Cujo, we did a song called One Blood. Okay. And I'll try to not make it along with the story, but. You got time. Okay. Oh, sure. yeah, you got time. Got hey, time. Got and time. we here for you, bro. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we had this song called One Blood. And so, you know, we, I hit Cujo. I said, man, I think you should do the hook on this, man. I was listening to the beat mm-hmm. and it's myself, um, my brother, Plex Long, who's, um, part of Black Box and Entertainment. As well as Divine Sons. He went to Morehouse as well. Okay. And um my man Face, he's from Reston, Virginia. Okay. Just like Plus, they from VA. Mm-hmm. But um all of us was on the song. We were like, Man, Cujo, we think you should do the hook, man. And man, Cujo hit me back, man, I do the hook. And so he said, if you for me with uh how me a roll, he said, just meet me at the Waffle House because the studio <laughs> the studio was by Grand Hustle, uh, you yeah, know, on right. on Ellsworth, uh, Industrial. So he was like, Meet me at the Waffle House on How Mill. And so we pulled up, man. When, when Cujo pulled up, I, that's when I knew I was like, okay, yeah. this real. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> a lot of people, not not Cujo, but I've been in situations where a lot of people would say, hey, man, we're going to do this, man. I'm going to be there, man. You know, mm-hmm. man, we, let's link up. And it never happens. Right. You know, I call it kind of Hollywood talk. That's yeah, what I call yeah. it. Yeah. You know, but man, Cujo pulled up, man. And so we go in the studio, man, and uh, Jason Weaver was in there. Okay. Yeah, he was in there. I know he was in, what's that song? Uh, One Call Away, he did the hook on that. Okay. The Chingy Joint. Yeah. And of course, then Michael Jackson. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah,
But yeah, we did the showcase and we would open it up. And you know what I'm saying? And he loved the song and man, he just kept asking us to come back, man. And wow. It was okay. just, it's just love, man. I'm glad that people show you love because you show the world love. Oh, yeah, man. Man. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about that, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll be honest, man. I used to see your t shirts before I knew. The, the black box entertainment. Oh, I used really? to see everybody okay. rocking the t shirts yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. before I knew who was behind it. Yeah, you man. You know, that's, sure. that's beautiful. Man. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to Face and Plex. Again, you know, they the ones who started Black Box. Okay. Love the for James. Oh. So shout out to the brothers. Okay. Sure. You, um. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you participate, <laughs> and, and to go back, mm-hmm. we kind of move kind of fast. <laughs> you participated in a world. Battle rap before. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Tell tell the people where that was at. Okay. I I, I think rap is Fern 106, right? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come man. on, hey, man. Yeah, I already know. Hey, man, you did some things a lot of people dream of. Let's go. Another one. And, you know, Another one. Let's go. And I and again, I gotta shout out my man Flex again because Flex knows Sonny. You know, so when I tell the story, you know, what I'm saying Cause all of us got the same ball. Right. It goes back to the barber shop. Yeah. So right. much, man. Okay. So many talented brothers come through there, but um. What happened? Okay, so after after I did the radio, the ten week run. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was a showdown here. I don't, I'm not sure if y'all familiar with. I know Sean, you may be uh, American music maker. Oh yeah, Arnell Star. Arnell Star. Yeah, rest in peace, yeah. Arnell Star. Yeah, rest in peace. But um, he had a Freestyle Friday. Well, not a Freestyle Friday. Undisputed competition, basically. And um, it was around when Eight Mile came out, so he was going the whole Eight Mile thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I went down there and I won that as well. That was about five or six weeks and wasn't as long as the radio. Okay. He, he running y'all, man. Go in and say it, man. Yeah, yeah. He, was run, <laughs> he was running y'all for about 18 weeks. He's so modest. He's so modest. He's so modest, man. Just, yeah. Hey, man, my man Dillinger was running y'all for about 18 weeks, hey, man. And, and I'm like, y'all it. know, man. And What's happening? Do it. And it's still doing it. Sure, for sure. But, uh, yeah, so that was, that was 2003. And so when I did that, then people start putting the face with the name. Uh-huh. You know, the radio was 2002, the year before. Mm-hmm. So they were like, Oh, that's diligent. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And so, uh, man, man, Cujo again, I, I tell you, man, his brother's blessed me. Cujo knew Lynette Grantfield from 106. She okay. was one of the, uh, I guess the casting people for the Freestyle Friday. So Cujo had me meet him at the dungeon and I go over there and he's like, what you think about being on 106 and Park, man? Mm. I was like, for real? And wow. he's like, I was like, wow. Cause you know, 106 during this time, you know, a lot of people from Philly, sure. you know, Jersey. I know you from mm-hmm. Jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jersey, New York, they were, that's where a lot of the people right. were from, the contestants. Right. So to be from Atlanta and to go up there, absolutely. Like, man, and I turned out, I was the first Atlanta neighbor. Uh, uh, wow. History Friday. making. Can we see so, any clips of that? History yeah, making. Yeah, it's out. Yeah, it's Is out. it? Yeah, it's out. Yeah. I'll hey. send it to you. I'm okay. Sure. I'll take you in. Hey, man. Yeah. I did not know that. And then, um, see what I'm saying? I, and I battled uh, Sonny again, who me and Fletch know. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Sonny. He's from Rochester. And so what's ironic, what's ironic, me and Sonny battled on the radio first. Okay. So I had battled Sonny already. We who, battled like four times. Who won? Okay. Who won? I, uh, Tell he the truth. won. Okay. Out of all the battles, out of all four <laughs> battles, all right. I call it two to two. Two to two. two Ain't nothing wrong with two to two. Two to two. Okay. I, I two to two. But you know, Sonny here, you know, Sonny gonna say three one. Cause when I won, <laughs> cause when I won the actual, um, title on the radio, right. I won it from Sonny. Oh, so that's okay. the one he'll say, okay, you got that one. But okay. And the other times I won, man. You know, <laughs> right, right, but that's right. That's my right. dude, man. Sun yeah. NY, yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out, man. Yeah, sucker free athletics. Shout out to Sun, man. Sun that's NY. what's up, man. That's and what's then, up. You know, he went on to get signed with Jermaine. You know, mm-hmm. he was with uh, So So Death Virgin Records. Okay. And he came out with Introduction and Soul of a Hustler. Yeah, you he got some saying? good music, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I remember fast. him coming up, man. I remember him can, coming up. And he can really freestyle. Like when you talk about actually freestyling off the dome, mm-hmm. Sonny's probably one of the dopest dudes I've ever heard, man. I, mean, man, like, it's love, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. you know, when I started doing this, I never did it. I guess when I first started, of course, you see LL on Fat Boys. Yeah. You know, that's why I grew up on uh, sure. Cool Mo D, Run DMC, Recipes Jam Master J. But, um, of course, when you first rap, you want to be famous. You know, like, I want to be on TV. I want to mm-hmm. see the girls, you see the cars, you see the <laughs> yeah, money. Right. So uh, you automatically want that. But then when I got a love for it, man, it wasn't even about being famous or nothing. That kind of just came with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Right. And man, it, it's just been a crazy ride, man. A learning experience, and I'm still learning. Sure. Right. You know, and you know, guys like Goody Mob and um, Chris Smith and Chris Cross mm-hmm. and Dro. You know, I just try to glean from them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I try to. Learn from their experiences. You know, anytime I'm in their presence, you know, I'm always just 
you know, asking questions, but not asking like trying to get on a song with you or nothing, mm-hmm. but asking like, hey, how did you deal with this situation when you had this yeah. happen? And man, it's you a student. Hey of the man, game. no, yeah, no, no, no. Hold on, hey man. Let me say this, man. <laughs> and this ain't got no disrespect to it, but let me say what I need to say, man. Today. He got a lot of energy I'm today. <laughs> Goody Mob, Young Dro, yeah. Cass. If you gonna ever do something, yeah, uh huh. I heard Nathaniel do his thing. No disrespect. Shout out Nathaniel. Another one. Can I get my boy Diligent on 16 or something? Another on, one. On one of them in- interludes or something? Oh, right. Can he get a verse or something? Uh, That's another. all I'm saying. He put his time in. Grind yeah. time, 106. Uh-huh. He worked with us. Oh, yeah. the resume is very impressive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got them hands. He, he ran a letter for 18 weeks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, where wow. from a brother? We should have been got him in here to get him this hype about hey, Atlanta. Man, I know. Hey, it's it, 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 I mean, with me, I'm always fighting you for know why? You, you know, know why? You know why? It, it took real swats <laughs> <laughs> to bring it out of me. Yeah. See, you, 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 you call it by a shot. Call it by. Yeah. Call it by. You, yeah. you, you, you from Jersey. Call it by. He from the swats. Uh huh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I give you that. Okay. Okay. Just put some fire on that ass in of that weed. You see what I'm saying? Which is my favorite Goody Mob song, Goody Bag. My all time favorite Goody Mob song. Put some fire on it. But shout out to Collar Park, the two change in Collar Park. So, you know what I'm saying? That's right. That's a good class, mate. Okay. But he, we see you out there. Already. But no, man, on the real, bro, like, I got dreams for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate I love, you know, I love music, bro. I already know. And it would, it would do me. It would do me. <laughs> I would be so happy, bro, to turn on a song, oh, bro, man. and hear you. And oh, I don't, and I don't mean because I listen to Eight AM. Like I told you, Cascade is my favorite song on mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. But I would love to to support you, give out, and I ain't saying this is no shot mm-hmm. that you get back, man. That somebody just bless you, man. So let the world can hear you, bro. Oh man, because 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 if it's because if it's a good emo B, the world gonna hear it, man. Yeah, yep. you know, I'm from that's Detroit, good. Michigan, bro. Uh-huh. To me, and I, this gonna start some controversy, but I'm gonna start what I yes, start because that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Soul Food is the best album to ever come out of this state. Y'all can say what y'all want to say or leave whatever comments. Classic. That's how I feel. Classic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See what I'm saying? <laughs> See? But he, but you see what I'm saying? We can argue. We can argue. We can argue. We can We can argue. We We <laughs> we can argue that later. We can, we can argue that later. But I, I would just, for me, it it make me happy, bro. Yeah. To see that for you, I appreciate that. Bro. That's all, man. That's 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 it. That's all on that, man. And but and not to cut you off, but it is one thing that me and you disagree on. What's bro. that? Why do you say Andre three thousand is overrated, man? Here we go. That's I'm my not, favorite oh, rapper, man. Right. Y'all want to do this right here? I'm not. I do this right here. Guess, this is the thing. Hey, this is the thing. This is the thing. When we're on Facebook, you know, and we, we will argue this. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, right. we will argue this. Because this episode going out, bro. No matter what. Because I don't know the reason. Let me just say this, man. What's up? Is he talented? Very much so. Does he have good sixteens? Yes. I don't rap. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I can't do what he do. Uh-huh. But until I get it for 16 tracks, I don't know what he can do. Mm. I, I got Sonny, Sonny and Y got whole CDs. Yeah. I know what he can do on his own. Yeah. That's facts. You know what I'm saying? Sky Zoo. Dope MC. Mm-hmm. Lyrically crazy. Mm-hmm. I know what he can do. Mm-hmm. Dre got my man big boy with him, dog. I don't know what he can do, so I can't rate him. It's 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 the bar it's barbershop talk. But if I had to answer it, because I'm gonna answer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my reason, bro. I you could give me 16 all day. That's to me that's easy. Give me a whole, give me 16 songs. I don't, you know, hey y'all is is what y'all stand. Oh Lord, fact, let's address Lord, this. please no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was, that was a hit. Hold on, let me say this. Okay, let me okay. say that. And this. That's, is, a, that's like a pop right. song. This, right. I ain't right. had to say it that's then. A, I didn't have to say it. Right. Literally. But, but that you was a big song. You do admit that was a hit. I mean, if y'all want to roll, I mean, I, I, I roll down the Atlanta streets a lot. I don't hear nobody bumming hey, y'all. But that's just me. That's just me, though. I ain't knocking nobody because I can't do it. But I'm going to say that if you asking me right here, uh-huh. if Three Stacks was from New York, okay. he would be Feral Munch. Shot Feral Munch. If Three Stacks was from Chicago, him and Kama be the same. If Three Stacks 
is from these uh from the west side west coast to the planet Asia. Mm. These three MCs that I just named, they got plethora of music dolo. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I need I need the whole thing. That that's that's my reason. So when I talk to you, Atlanta cats, yeah. and y'all y'all three stacks first, he the best man. To me, man, I love Pastor Troy, man. Troy, oh yeah, it's you know what I'm saying. Troy. I oh, love absolutely. Troy. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. DSGB. So sure. you know, but I, like I said, I ain't knocking him. Yeah, but yeah. I need the whole thing, man. So would you say? Would you say Sip is better than Dre? Hey man, we will get this show shut down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get an understanding. That's all I'm just asking. No. You want my my Atlanta list? Yes, yes. Your top five. Who's your top five? It'll start with Ludacris. He's from Chicago. I mean, but the man, the man rep y'all like he was born here. I'm, uh, I'm just saying. I have went to school he, with him. He's oh, a, oh, the man went to school with him. So out, you know, it will start with Luda. Okay. Then it, it'll go Jeezy. Okay. It'll go Saha. It'll go Dre. And then it'll go. Uh, but he is in your top. You five. put Jeezy over mm-hmm. Dre. I can't let you do this, man. What? What well, old song he got? Hey y'all, is that what we going with? Jeezy over Dre. Are we going with Hey y'all? That's what or oh, Roses? Or are we going with with Prototype? Which one are we? Which one are we choosing? <laughs> Did you listen to any music before? I'm asking you. Speaker what? Box and Love Below. Solo, so Thank he you. Wants, he get him together. Yeah, get him together. Yeah, I see what he's get saying. him together. I don't know about putting Jeezy over Dre. If we talking about lyrically, lyrically I that's couldn't. That's what I thought yeah. we were talking about. Lyrically I couldn't. You talking about albums? I don't want to have this discussion. We talking about overall? I thought we were just talking about. We talking about overall? I don't, I, don't, overall top I can't judge a person that ain't got. I can't. Yeah, I, I can't say you a dope solo artist and you ain't got a solo project. Okay. Unless we count Hey Ya. So, and then, so, and Cee-Lo, we count, so CeeLo will be different. CeeLo is probably one of the dopest MCs that I love out of here because he's so versatile. Bro. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Right. And, because and, he's so versatile. You know, he wasn't in that list you just said, though. I ain't got a fifth, but he wouldn't have been my fifth. I ain't gonna do that. Okay. But I'm just saying that. Yeah. So overall. Mm-hmm. What a lot of people don't know is that when Goody Mob came out, um, actually Biggie and Puffy wanted to sign CeeLo. Okay. Um, when Biggie would do his shows, he would do the get up, get out verse because he loved CeeLo's verse so much. Mm-hmm. He would do that verse on stage. Okay. You know, and, um, but of course CeeLo didn't sign. He was like, nah, you know, I'm with Goody Mob and they did the Goody Mob thing. Right. So they already knew that CeeLo was the star, if you want to say, because mm-hmm. he, he could sing, like you said, his versatility. And everything, his fashion, you know, he just had that look, you mm-hmm. know, and he's had that unique voice. Right. Like I remember, I heard CeeLo before I saw him. Hold on, on that fashion thing. Uh, hold yeah. on, hold well, on. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Hold wait, on, wait, except for that one, that one situation. Wait, 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 wait a minute, <laughs> yeah, I know that, that's what you're talking about. I don't, I can't that speak. That Nas Barkley, yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't feeling that one. I, I don't know. Shout out to CeeLo, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But yeah, so he he always had it. You know what I'm saying? And I think. I think Goody Mob saw it, even the whole Denver family. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when CeeLo eventually went solo, to me, I wasn't surprised. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I already knew. I said, if he goes solo, he's going to eventually come back to Goody Mob. Because, you know, they, they man, they so tight-knit, man. You know, all of them out of, fresh out of Mays High School. You know what I mean? For sure. I hate to interrupt you. Mm-hmm. And it's cool to hear about Goody Mob. Young Dro, we here to talk about Corey. Though. Oh yeah, it's all good. That's like, all like good. I got you on the show, man. We got you on the show to talk about you because you do great things yourself, bro. for sure, for sure. And you always stand up for you. You, you are a great supporter of your friends, man. Right. And that's 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 something that came. Yo, you. I thought you was part of the street team. For my boy Harry Cannon birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, Shout hey, out to hey, that brother. Cannonball. Hey man, uh, I ain't never seen somebody go right. so hard for somebody's birthday party, man. And and I tell him, I said, hey man, you ain't even gotta post nothing. Just tell Corey when the day is <laughs> and he gonna take care of all that. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's to me, man, that that's a wonderful thing. And it's it's time today. On the Soundproof Hunger Room, man, we celebrate you, man. Oh, I appreciate it. We that, celebrate man. you, I man. Because he bring gifts. Yes, right. Sir. He bought the gifts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He bought the gifts. <laughs> he bring gifts. Yes, sir. Did Flex, he good? He got his? No, he uh, give it to him. Yeah, he's studio yeah, audience yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, we ain't yeah. talking about it. He's studio audience right hey, now. Shout out to you Flex, man. Buffalo in the building. Yes, yeah, indeed. Man. But I, I just want you to, to me, man, like, I watched your grind time battles, man. Some you won, some you lost. Let's, yeah, let's be real. Absolutely. You know what I'm absolutely. saying? And I see you grinding, man, just to 
to live your dream, bro. And yeah. I don't, I don't, I just, I had you on here just to talk about you, bro. Cause, oh, yeah. cause I always see over, over Facebook, man, you got the, the get goodies. You got, yeah. you know, Cool Joe doing this thing with the, um, uh, five, five, the five, five. Merch. Yeah. You know, yeah. they got albums coming. They got tours coming and yeah. you, you are the ultimate support. But today, man, we here to celebrate you, bro. I appreciate that. Absolutely, I man. That. Absolutely, yeah. man. Thank you, bro. For sure, man. That's yeah. my guy, man. I that's see. My, I, I mean, that. that's you don't have a lot of energy guy, today. Like, that's, that's my that's guy, my, that's man. That's my guy, man. You can't. You gotta appreciate a grind, especially in that yeah. business, man. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he ate a bowl of sugar or something. The way he jumped around <laughs> and yelling in the air. I'm like, dude, calm uh, down. Like, uh, <laughs> he got you a shirt. Be cool, right. brother. <laughs> 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 he gave me, hey, he brought gifts. <laughs> that's, what, that's right. So, it, it matters, though. For sure. He did, man. We're we going to switch it up a little bit. Okay. We're going to do our thing. Right, hold man. on, hold on. Before you do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where can the people hear your music at, though? Hey, man. Man, uh, Diligent Legacy is my solo um, EP on all digital platforms Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes. YouTube, mm. um, the videos are out there. Uh, I just named some of the videos for YouTube. Uh, Diligent Fresh Perspective, uh, Diligent The Prescription, Diligent Legacy is mm -hmm. an actual song on there, which features actually uh, Real, a uh, Calvin. Yeah, know, yeah, Calvin yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out so, to Calvin, yeah, yeah. man. Shout out to yeah, Calvin. Yeah, so he's on, he did the hook on there. We actually dedicated that video to uh, our brother Charles Mazon. Rest in peace. Okay. I know that was our right. Yes, sir. Fellow, yes, sir. We remember Charles. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, I got a Fred Pruitt forever. I did a um, video in memory of my father. I saw you know, that. That, yeah, was, that was dope. I appreciate it. That was dope. I appreciate it. And in 8 a.m., man, 8 a.m. by 8 a.m. in the morning, all those okay. videos are out. Uh, Absolutely No One, which is the new Divine Son single for our album, The Beautiful, which is out on all platforms. Yeah. <laughs> you said The Beautiful. The Beautiful. You ain't from Atlanta. Album. Yeah. You ain't from Atlanta. Now, I know what You that know is. about The Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm show, hungry show, now. Cascade. I even know yeah. about The Beautiful, dog. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Now. And to get your merch, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, merch, yeah. Black Box merch, Divine Sons merch, man. What, what, we what, what, Beautiful people. Yeah, there we okay. go. There we go. Beautiful yeah. people. Dot com. And people always look at the beautiful part, but to me, the key word is we. we. Mm -hmm. It don't matter your color, don't matter your religion. Preach. We beautiful people. Preach. Right. And it's okay. funny you say that because yeah. you don't only, you don't only say that you live it. Absolutely, and I appreciate. Dude, man. And if people from this show, if they look up anything on you, they're gonna see how many people you connect with. And it's on a genuine level. Yeah. It doesn't look like you just running up, blah, 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 you know. Yeah. But you show love to everybody, man. And we need more more cats like you out there, man. Because mm -hmm. I, I think we just don't do that enough for each other. Yeah. Well, you know, it's, man, you know, cats like Ralph, Flex, man. Mm -hmm. You know, these cats, you know, a few years older than I am. But they they just such uh, solid dudes, you know. Yes, a, a lot One, more years. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> and, and I think I think the, I think the main reason I think the main reason because they so honest, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like yeah. I can like let's say if I go into a battle and you know after the battle if if Ralph felt I, like I lost the battle he'll say he say man deal yeah you got yeah you. he got you bro. thirty yeah. Yeah, he'll say it. You Two know one. what I'm saying? Hey, but you need that around you because, you sure. know, you were speaking about motivation early. That yeah. motivates you. Mm. When I, when, if I lost a battle or anything, that motivated me to go harder for the next opponent. Right. You know, I mm. wasn't one of those ones, you know, after you lose, you all down in the dumps, mm -hmm. all, you know. Yeah. I use his motivation. It's always a, a silver lining in the gray clouds. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it's always okay. a positive side to any negative situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Even if it's not in front of your face. So I, I just try to look for the positive, man. Okay. You know, that's what I try to do. Talk to him, man. Sure. Talk to him. I'm all people, about positive man. energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up. Sure. He is walking positive energy. Yeah. yeah. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So, Ralph and Flex, guys like them, Cannon, that's why I keep those guys like, in my circle mm -hmm. going to Cannon's party every year. You know, mm -hmm. that's why yeah. I do that. Because they, they're good dudes. Mm -hmm. and, you you know, say Ralph? Huh? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Detroit three one three. What up, dog? Yeah, uh, he gonna grab the bottle. <laughs> he, grab the bottle. <laughs> he grabbed it upside down. Y'all didn't see that. He what grabbed up, it upside down. <laughs> oh, <where am> <laughs> there, yeah, yeah. We ain't hey, giving no free advertising. <laughs> We ain't giving no free advertising on here, cuz. You want to be on our show. You're going to have to pay for that. I got you, bro. I got you. 
Yeah, hey, man. Man. yeah, we don't do the free advertising. Yeah, we don't do free advertising. Uh, unless we, it's love. Yeah, unless it's love. Unless it's love. Oh, man. Love. Love. <laughs> love. 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 Speaking about that, man, the love and all of that stuff, man. We went and hung out last week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I And I know you probably going to jump on my head for this, but it, I, it's Let's been go, on man. me all week, man. Oh, Let's man. go, man. We went and hung out last week to this certain establishment. It's uh-huh. black on. Uh-huh. Uh, the first time we went, all three of us went, and we got there. They weren't open the time they were supposed to be open. Then we was going to watch a game, and they had, like, 30 TV screens. <laughs> and we said, well, can we get this game? Yeah. They said, nah. Yeah. We want to hold people in there. In there. What? When they open. Yeah. yeah. Nah. You mm-hmm. can't get that game right now because uh, the Falcons play today. So you can't watch the Raiders and Jets. So you can't watch right. Detroit and Philly, I think. We went was. back to that establishment. We, we went, went back. We so, went so we went. We went okay. That first time. We went back we after. We went back. We went back. We went back. <laughs> Now, there's a two-drink minimum. Man, Black people. Oh, wow. Come on, goddamn. It's COVID, man. Ah, no, no, no. <gasps> Even before COVID. Hey, you, that's it's a lot of... Alone, man. And, and it's real. It's usually in sports bars. <laughs> I knew that was going to bother you. <laughs> sports mm-hmm. bars. Mm-hmm. Cigar bars. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Say it, brother. It say really it. bothered me that now... It did. It you did. know... Whereas you go down to Edgewood or something like that, them folks been there forever. Mm-hmm. You still get that same three dollar beer. Yep. They ain't charging you at the door. Mm-hmm. They didn't charge you at the door. No, they didn't. They did tell Not you yet. to buy two drinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. They did tell you to buy then, two drinks. What is it, or why do we do this with these and stuff? Look, let, let, let me let me say this. When people try to keep the doors open, man. If they got to charge you buy two drinks, man, if you want to go in, you got to pay for it. Do I agree? No. Am I going to have to make a decision at the door? Yeah. Did we go in? Yeah. We bought two beers, man. We didn't. Because usually we drink liquor. Yeah, we paid tonight. We we bought two beers. Yeah. And yeah. matter of fact, y'all bought. And we bought sticks. Y'all man, bought Flake, sticks. sticks. Yeah, y'all bought sticks. I mean, it's just. Mm-hmm. It's part of it, man. If I understand, if if it's to keep the doors open right now, then I understand it, man. Like, what? Well, it's, it's, it's hard out here right now. It was another establishment. <laughs> I ain't even gonna name it. No, it's pretty popular. Po- yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. popular over on uh, Camp Creek. Mm-hmm. But they, it was a sports bar, and they charge you to walk in. See, and I'm like, they've been doing that you, stuff for so long, what, man. What y'all talking about? Y'all talking about that place? You. I, you oh, are okay. There you go. There you go. You you go. There you go. Okay, but first of all, I need to ask you a question, sir. Uh huh. Why are you? I only there? went once. Oh, okay. And and I ain't knocking it. That's I don't. It. I don't yeah. go. All it took. Yeah, one I time. I've been there a couple times. I didn't. It wasn't me. Okay. I had to pay twenty dollars to get in. I think it, that's what it was. Bar? It just. It, hey, man. They got a business to run. However, they run it. You got a choice, man. You either gonna go in or you not. For every $20 that we ain't paying, yeah, I know cats that we work with that's paying that $20 to get in. Oh, yeah, that's so, I, so, I mean, it, it is what it is. I don't agree, but it is what it is. They, bro, they been getting hold on. No- stu- hold on. We, got stu- oh, we, got. we got studio audience. That's, what we got. <laughs> that's how dope we is over here. Sir. Just for clarification, that's not a sports bar. It's a sports entertainment complex. I don't want to hear That's this why guy. they charge you to come in. Because <laughs> oh. you don't just come in there and get sports. You get entertained. Okay. Mm. Tell the people who you are, sir. <laughs> Studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my man, Corey. What up, baby? Yeah, what up, baby? <laughs> For all of those who don't know who the studio audience is, yeah. that's, Y'all know that's that my is. brother. Y'all yeah. know who that is. The we brother, can only that's my one. brother without blood. Yes. Yeah. Nigga City Flex. Uh-huh. Rude intelligence coming soon. Act like sure. y'all know. Mm. But you know what? I They've been doing that shit for so long, man. Rude they intellect, just feel like bad. you could just charge, you know, us anything you want to. And then you're not going to get served. You know, the service is going to be terrible. The service is terrible me, oh, anyway. Hold on, give me one second, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> I paid. Okay, let me tell you. I only been once. Okay. I paid the twenty to get in because I done drove away from Kyle Park. Yeah, you, you yeah. <laughs> right? I, did I did I did I get it? You, get it, yeah, you yeah, got you it, got bro. Okay. You got it. You got it. Once I got it, I was like, damn. And what the drive was, 
they had a lot of fine women out there. That's right. Okay. That's one that's one incentive. So I'm gonna drop this twenty to see what's up in here. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I get in there, it's a two drink minimum. It's shoulder to shoulder. And the cups is like cups this. are like this. <laughs> Not only that, I said, ma'am, may I ha- I like to sit at a table. She says, Sir, that's an extra ten dollars for what? a table. Oh, man. This just to show you how, that's why I only been <laughs> once. But people are paying this. Oh yeah. And they continue to do that. Oh, yeah. And we sit here and patronize this stuff. How thirsty are you to be entertained? I work too damn hard for my money just to be giving it away. Money man, let me, po, let me, get and up. then look. Let me let, hold on. <laughs> and brother love crab legs. Oh yeah. <laughs> they crab legs are like stupid, crazy expensive. You know, so then I come out of there and I feel empty. You know, cause I don't see food leave you empty anyway. I'm just saying, man, I spent the grip in there for what? And people do that weekly. He did that. Look at that scatter. That. I'm yeah, like, that's man, all please. That scatter. You, 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 you pay for that cheek. You ain't pay for that, that, clap, that crab leg. You pay for that cheek. <laughs> scatter that. That I'm just telling you. Because they got a bullet in there, right? Yeah. I, I'm not going. You know what? I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to shit on it because I choose just not to go. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. Whoever want to go, want to go. You know, sure. I just don't understand places, and it's any place, how you can charge me to come in and order food to eat. Like that's, that's I don't understand that. Mm. Whatever it is, it's working because they people they, still do they it. doing people it. People doing it. I mean, maybe you paying for the entertainment, so that don't matter. So, so my question is, and I say this because um, I used to, well, I want to say I hung out, but now I used you to hung be, out. I mean, I was at the time I was you hung out. I was with somebody, so we uh, hung out in the area frequently. <laughs> the area, <You> Collie Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it was like Midtown, down in that area. Oh, okay. Let me put my pinky up. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's how they doing it. That's how they doing it. <laughs> but we would go to little neighborhood bars. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the people didn't look like us. Mm-hmm. But they were always cordial. They was always, you know what I mean? Always know, got great service. How you know people ain't like you, man? Well, they served me and they was nice and they smiled in my face. That made me feel better than Shaniqua. That was like, what you want? Whoa, whoa, and walked whoa, off. Whoa, wow. Wait. Wow. Hold on. Hold wow. on. Did I say something? I'm sorry. Shaniqua? I'm sorry. There's some Shaniquas out there. there. <laughs> it is. You got hair on your coat, too? You with that guy? <laughs> no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's some Shaniquas on, out there. Man. I mean, I'm just saying. And then, you know, they, they just look at you like, they don't even ask you, what you having today? Mm-hmm. They just look at you. Yeah. How you doing? Bro, no. What you having today? Come on, man. That that bothered you because then you say how you do. Fuck your day. We had to spend money. But that's what I'm talking about. When I go to the other folk place, the experience. Hello, bro. sir. Even if they hate me, hey, sir, how you doing? What you having today? So, they got the white towel. Boom. What you having today, sir? White, so white you, the counter. You, you, you pay for the fake love. I pay for my beer. See, I yeah. paid to get into that spot, <laughs> and then I had to pay for the bad service. <laughs> right. Feel me when I say it. Just because you control the board. That's the only reason you got shots for that. That's the only reason you got shots for that. Because you control the board, sir. But uh, I'm saying, though, yeah. uh, I, I want to, and you've kind of driven me in that. You've kind of instilled it in I mean, me yeah, to yeah, put it to where we have to talk about these absolutely. things and put it in the absolutely. right direction absolutely. so they can be rectified as opposed to just bad mouthing it and stepping yeah, let away me, from let, it. Let me say that we sit up here and we joke a lot, but he actually makes good points. Um, we love we love giving money to our own, but we we still require good good service. I'm not gonna sure. even say great. Yeah, sure, good service. So you know, we will bash you on our show, even though we try to stay <laughs> real positive. But at the end of the day, man, yo, we 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 patriots like everybody else, man. We, and, yeah. and we want to be treated a certain way. Absolutely. In a time Absolutely. like this, right. your service should be impeccable. Yeah. Right, yep. People spending their money coming out of this COVID thing. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I mean? Don't, and, especially if you was hurting. Don't right, you live yeah. in like the Louvre or something? Dang, why are you putting that problem business wow. out there? He like always that? trying to pull a race right. car. <laughs> <laughs> Hell wrong with him. I'm in Ellenwood, home of the easy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Social media, for yeah, sure. baby no, Charles, I see you, baby. Another one, another one. I like that. I like that. I like that. And that shit good too. You used it? What? Yeah, you I thought it was good. You Wait, ain't put it on one of them salads, did you? No, not yet. Uh, don't. Are you, why are you 
you keep shooting at my brother, man. Right, here you go. I'm just saying. No, I ain't in the mood for no Mushu right now. <laughs> well, we already had our battle today, which y'all will see. Y'all we will see that do battle. MJ and verse Prince battle, <laughs> yeah. and we're yeah. looking for some feedback. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dylan, how you feel about, especially with you being from here and mm-hmm. seeing like in our neighborhoods, like especially over there, like yes, the Cascade absolutely. area, absolutely. where you would see where. People would start off with something nice, and it was good, and you had the clientele, boom, next thing you know, you got a two-drink minimum, or, yeah. you know, if you sit at the table, you got to pay, like you said, another, you know, whatever. i tell you what's even crazier, that he brought up a good point. I remember, if you're familiar with Greenbrier Mall, I remember mm-hmm. when Magic Johnson, the actor, was coming right to Greenbrier. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, yeah. I was telling my wife, and I said, you know what? I said, baby, as sad as it is to say, it won't stay up. Mm. It won't stay up. He had that and that IHOP right there. And IHOP. And, and, mm-hmm. and neither one are, are there anymore. We'll close it. Uh, you know, people were going there and people were paying the money. And I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you know. <laughs> we <laughs> closed it. Yeah, but, but this is my thing. Like, but, but, but what happened to it? Cause it was us that were going, putting the money into these businesses, the right. IHOP, the Magic Johnson yeah. Theaters. And then you go up there one day and it's just closed down. Right. It was a lot. Was there any violence in any these days? Well, I don't know about up there, but I went down. I went down, but I can't think it of wasn't, no story. No, it I wasn't can't. a whole lot. Yeah, it, how it, you it know? Went, but see, it wasn't like like I know, you know? I know Sean may know like Jelly Beans. Yeah, they all yeah, used to fight it. Yeah, yeah it was always right. on fire. Oh, okay, okay. Jelly, jelly, well, shout out to Jelly Beans. Yeah, yeah. Screaming Wheel. What, what is that? Screaming Wheel. Yeah, it's Southwest Atlanta. Southwest. Yeah, Southwest. But see, they were always like my mom. You know when he let me go to jail Bay. Cause right. there's always something in the parking lot, fighting in the in the roller rink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn. But it just seemed like when businesses would come to that side, man, it just didn't last long, man. Yeah. Like I always said, you know, I said, man, it, you know, when? Because I, I claim I don't say if, I say when. Right. So when? There you go. So I when? Like that. I like this, that. This, sure. my, this my guess. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, this my yeah. guess. <laughs> but when I'm able, man, I would love to. You know, open yeah. up a Waffle House summit in Southwest. Like, it's he y'all happened. guess. He talking about the Waffle House. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, oh, he y'all guess. Y'all, y'all, y'all do Waffle House? <laughs> nah, that's your that guess. Waffle. And he talking about a staple go, go here yeah, in yeah, Atlanta. Like, oh, Waffle South. House or like a bowling alley. That's, never that's what I'm talking about. I love bowling yeah, they never had a bowling yeah. alley. Now, they had yeah. one in Triangle Lanes East Point. But, you know, that's okay, not that yeah, no yeah, more. Yeah. Wow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They had, they had Waffle House in East Point. I think it's off Washington Road. It's still, yeah, it's yeah, still, still there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's still but, there. But in the Swats. That's the closest right? one to it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't old National. Nah, you got uh, Gladys Knight. Well, Gladys thing. Knight. Yeah, that, and that don't count. But that's downtown, right? Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. They, they just open bowling, one up. It's a bowling alley on, uh, in Union City. No, that's oh, not yeah. a, that's not Atlanta though. But that's, he's talking. I think we're rap talking about that old AMF bowling. I think oh, they, they really yeah. That's I mean yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's down the street in Union City. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, so they really yeah, that ain't that ain't Swats. We oh, talking exactly. about down in that area. Oh my bad. Oh, yeah, this ain't for you, bro. My bad. Let me let me let me, you, let me step back and relax then. <laughs> but like, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all go right ahead. <laughs> I, I, but you know, I tell you another business. Um, MBK. Remember right. MBK? Yeah, my, my brother's, brother's keeper. keeper. That was a club, and man, whoever started this was so smart. They had a club for middle schools. First off, wow. it was called Mr. V's Figure Eight. Okay, before. It, well, okay, was look before? at you finally coming with a little history. After, after, after it, yeah. It look at okay. you coming with a little history. Yeah. But, man, it's my okay, city, I man. thought, but, hey, man, I thought like, hey. stuff like that, just this, this ideas like that, because think about a middle school that they're not old enough to mm-hmm. drive. Right. Yeah. They really can't go out by themselves like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Because everything is 18 and up. You right. Know? And so, yeah, they had MBK, they man. Did that. And they had, like, it was a teen club. You remember also they had a skate town where they used to yeah. go. I can't remember what they call it. Mm-hmm. Atlanta they, Live. Atlanta. That's uh-huh. my name. <laughs> now nah, I went to school in Collie Park. 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 For sure. And I, would, <laughs> yeah. I used to go to skate town yeah. every Saturday, man. And it, you, it, when sure. it was and it was televised. Right. Yeah. They, yeah. they were yeah. recorded. Yeah. 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 That was one yeah. of our shows. Yeah. Yeah. When yeah. you see your folk up in there skating and yeah. dancing. and yeah. Y'all don't skate? I used to. I used to. a little something. Yeah. I couldn't dance. What was this? Though. What was the introduction song? I don't. It was a. Uh, I, I got it. I just wasn't. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Let the beat. Yeah, yeah. Let the music take control. Yeah. Let me 
Go run it, run it. And I said it off. 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 They was killing that of That shit was cool, man. That's what's up. But, yeah, but what's cool about it, even talking yeah. about the skater ring, you know, when you t- when you see moves like ATL and stuff like that, sure. the yeah. guys who skated in the movie mm-hmm. skated with me at Skate Town back yeah. in the day. Doug, so to see them, Doug, to see, yeah. Yeah. Doug they, I know them. Hey, well, we yeah. went to school together. Yeah, yeah, I know all them. I know cats. Doug, Paul, Paul Doodoo Bug. Doodoo Bug. I, I know we was all, all in them. the band together. <laughs> okay, well, my don't skate- talk about the names, I ain't bro. Said yeah. I see you looking crazy. No. Okay, well, we had a skate crew. It was me and my man Andre Mitchell. Got you. Yeah, Andre, I think was a band. I think okay. he went to Banneker. I can't remember, but Andre, that was our skate group. There's two of us, but then Doug, Doodle Bug, and Paul was the mm-hmm. other group. Oh, and then okay. you had my man Carlin Shanks. And Damien, it was oh, a whole get bunch of out. I just want to yeah. shout out Doodle Bug because I don't know if you'll <laughs> yeah, ever get right a shout out again. Doodle right Bug is a DJ too. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I, I just want to shout out Doodle Bug. Yeah, he used to spend the records at Skate Ralph, Town. Nobody like you, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Nobody like you. <laughs> yeah, he would spend the records and yeah. go out there and skate too. Yeah, he did both. Good times, man. Mm-hmm. Good times. Wow, this I didn't know you knew Doug. Man. That's oh, my yeah, dude. he went to uh, Alabama State. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's my dude. Are you been here for? A minute, yeah. hey, brother. I'm well rounded. Yeah, but they went to uh, ATM. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. He know more than you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. He know the back streets from here to. <laughs> Yo, this dude can I take you. I know tell me that story. Yo, <laughs> hey, this dude can take you to Jupiter off all back streets. <laughs> yeah, for real. Hey, That's good I, with the traffic. I, I That's good. Yeah, I get it traffic. from my grandmama and my daddy. My grandma would not get on the highway. Yeah. She could go from noon in. To oh. to North Lake, right. wow! Without touching the highway, that's south to north, yeah. It's wow, I'd yeah. be like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. way out. Yeah. And then my dad, he be he do the the street names. I'm like, dude, I don't know the name. And then the that. streets that he knew, they don't change the names now. Right. So he using the old street names. I'm like, that what you talking about? Back what in the day, this was Abernathy. Right. Today it's called exactly, yeah. exactly. So <laughs> I, I'm like, like, what you talking about? He's yeah. like, oh, with a Christmas. Girl. Oh, you talking about such and such? Yeah. Oh, well, it was such and such in my day, and yeah. I was like, well, yeah, "Give me landmarks, man. Yeah, I know nah, landmarks." Oh, <laughs> they go right. yeah. They try and get rid of Bankhead and yeah, and it's Stewart still Avenue. Come right. on, man. It, it's still Stewart well, Avenue. Come on, Metropolitan. Right, yeah. Metropolitan. Yeah. Get out of here, yeah. man. Y'all crazy. <laughs> I, I got a question, and mm-hmm. to get off of what y'all was talking about, mm-hmm. Corey, I got one, one. I got two questions. When it comes to your your rap, your, your spitting, mm-hmm. what is your purpose? Mm. You know what? To bring lyricism back. You know what I'm saying? Um, the music nowadays, you know, it's dope to a certain extent. Like, I can get with, you know, Migos, uh, Trippy Red, uh, Ray Shrimmer, you know, because mm-hmm. the beats are dope. But I come from, and I know all of us around the same age, but, you know, we come from the era where I remember when Biggie album came out. And man, you would go to the store just to see the inside cover, right? To memorize them yeah. lyrics, Wu Tang Clan, yeah, um, yeah. you know, yeah. All, you know, all these groups. You know what I'm saying? Tupac recipe. Hey, come, calm down, the studio audience. Yeah. They getting rowdy over there. They getting rowdy. Man, we, 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 we gonna kick them out. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna kick them out. They getting yeah, a little rowdy. For sure. But yeah, but when you hear diligent, I, I just want to bring lyricism back. I, I'm a fan of bars. Mm. Like when sure. I hear when I hear artists. I want to be able to say, after I hear that artist, motivate me to write. That's mm. what Jay-Z, Nas, I know we said Dre. That's what these artists do for me. Eminem, I know you're from Detroit. Eminem, you know what He's I'm not going to claim it. Yeah, big, claim shady. Big, big Herc, what up, though? Uh, hey, he hey. just straight Euro yeah. step that. No, Big Herc, what Euro up, step? though? Yeah. <laughs> Euro step. Detroit, I'm from Big Herc, yeah. what up, though? And um, and uh, rest in peace to Proof, too, Big Proof. But yeah, okay. yeah, yeah cool, already, cool. Jay yeah, Dillon, yeah, Bugs, yeah. Yeah. love Detroit. Okay. But um, but they these artists, man. Another one that that that's I think that's what my purpose is, man. Just to, to, to have substance, but still keep it lyrical, man. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it, it's still a, a a a want a want for it. You, you feel what I'm saying? Sure. Right. You know, like guys our age, that's what we came up on. Mm-hmm. We didn't come up on um um I don't know the Migos, me, but we didn't come on bad and bad and bougie and stuff like right, that. Yeah. You know, no shot to them, but I'm yeah. just saying that's yeah, what we came up on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we and, do. And like you get in my car, you're gonna hear Cash, Goody, UGK, Ball and G, yeah. Jay Z, Nas. Mm. Cause I, I gotta have that substance, man. Right. Yeah. And then, and you know, it's funny you said it. My Sci-hi. Yeah, fast. And then talking with my wife, and she was like, Why don't you just 
why don't you just conform and just do the music they doing? And as easy as it is to do it, I just can't. I can't stray away from who I am. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I love bars, man. Yeah. I like. And right. you got multi, them though. Yeah, I appreciate it. Multi syllabics. You got them. And like when when how did you how did he rhyme that like uh-huh. yes, sir. Like, yeah yeah that's and why to I, be able to just hear a lyric and yeah. be like what did he mean and then when you yeah. think about it like oh that was slick yeah like that yeah. was slick like I remember I seen uh, Ti at the car wash one time you know and I walked up to him and, you know not even no fan stuff and I said he he was on the phone I wait for him to get off the phone I said bro you know I introduced him and actually Tip and I went to Doug together he was younger than me okay him and my wife were the same age okay and so um. When I went up to him, I was like, bro, I just want to let you know, you can rap, bro. Like, I've been doing this 20 years. I ain't got no platinum plat, no right. gold plat, no Academy Awards. But you need bro. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so you I need appreciate, one. I appreciate it, bro. But I was like, bro, I like, you can really rap. You put words together. Like, I do this, bro. And you can really put words together well. Right. And he said, man, I appreciate that more than anybody trying to give me a CD or anything. He right. said, I'll never forget that, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Sure, maybe, so, maybe you can get you on a, on a guest hey, appearance you know, or something. Hey, all good, man. T- for sure, man. One T- time, T- one T- time. T.I. featuring Dillage. And one time for Big Phil, too. That's Doug House. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P., man. I'm sure. just saying. That's what's up. Yeah, man. Dope B. Okay. Yeah, but okay. yeah, man, I, I just try to, man, lyricism, man, I, I'm just a fan of bars. And I think that's why I know Ralph said it earlier when a lot of people hear me, they were like, hey, you sound like you from New York. You sound like you from here. You don't sound like you from Atlanta. And, 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 that, and that wasn't a knock. No, 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 not at all. No, 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 saying, no, no, not at all. Not at all. You actually, how do I say this? You put words together, man. I appreciate it. It, it wasn't. Sing song nursery rhyme, right? You know yeah, and, it was, yeah. and I was a big fan of Rap City the Basement, man. Yeah, like Rap yeah, City, yeah. man, I would run oh, literally run to my TV four yeah. o'clock Yo. to see Big Tig a bit late. You know, so oh. crazy. If you didn't get in the booth, I didn't even listen to you. No right, more that. that booth yeah. was. I needed yeah. you to get in the booth. Yeah, even though yeah. Jay Z spit some shit that was on one of his albums. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm he, he got in the booth. <laughs> I said it. Yeah, he you know did. What I'm, saying? I'm here Luda, for it. I said it. Yeah, <laughs> Luda snapped in that. Twice, yeah, Luda man. went yeah, off. Luda that I mean, Luda the man died. Yeah, Luda. Man. Yeah, Luda you know, can rap. Yeah. Luda up, went off. Luda, sure. Luda the man died. What's I up? Know, you know, huh? I like Luda. You're okay. not gonna hear me talk bad about Luda, Luda or none of my folks. Oh, Goody, okay. see Lo, Andre, none of them. You shouldn't. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk bad about none you of them. You shouldn't. And I'm not finna go down your little rabbit hole <laughs> of trying to put a hierarchy on her. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you know, I think it <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, but what was crazy is even going back to Rap City, when you would look on Rap City, it wasn't no Southern artists on there back when I was watching it. Right. You know, I remember, and I'm finna go way back, I remember. Young black teenagers tap the bottom, twist the cap. Uh, That's an old okay. song. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. YZ Return of the Holy One. Okay. See, people don't know about this. Yeah. I'm talking about way back. You know what I'm saying? Right. I remember Damn. Black Moon, who got the props. Ooh. You know what's so funny? <laughs> what's and, I, and I'm going to bring him on camera. Hold on. Okay. I was put on to something that you got. See, I, I love the fact that you show love, but like I said in the, in the middle of the show, we had to talk about you. Oh, yeah. You told, come on the camera, bro. Uh, studio you know, audience. Studio audience. <laughs> Can we get the studio audience on the camera? <laughs> okay, y'all, y'all know the voice. You had Need a, the mic. He he had a. Yeah, let let the studio audience ask him a question. No, 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 no. Go to the studio audience ask him a question. Yo, real quick, man. You know, I don't know you since pretty much since I came to Atlanta. Sure. So we've been brothers a long time. Very you know what I mean? Time. And a question I remember you on mixtapes from like. Live from Campleton Road. Ooh, so I'm a, yeah, I'm a, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Ooh. I'm gonna take it back for people who really don't know. Okay, you know what I mean. But I guess through all of what you've been through, and I know you like we like you, my brother. You my brother. Yeah. So. And I just want you to tell the people like what is something that you actually took from your whole journey as you was coming from live from Campleton Road all the way up to now with the 8 a.m., man. Mm-hmm. What would you tell somebody up and coming in Atlanta, Australia, Great Britain, South Africa? What would advice would you have to the people coming up behind us? Definitely, um, uh. especially in Atlanta, man. Nowadays, man, branding. Branding is very, very important. And don't wait on the next man for a handout. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Do it yourself. Do it yourself, you know. This eight at the eight a.m. gear and stuff like that. This my own money, you know, blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah, do it yourself. Um, the other thing I would say is, uh, stay true to who you are. Don't try to sound like the next person. Like I'm diligent. You're flex. You're rap. Be flex and rap. 
Mm-hmm. Don't try to be like diligent. I don't want, I can't go out here and rap like Dro. Dro is Dro. Mm-hmm. I got to be me. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, also I would say, um, um, everything takes money. It takes money. I know we live in a tough time, but do what, what is within your means. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if you're able to do a t-shirts like myself, then do it. You know, um, I know Sean said early, he said, you know, I identified with you with your black box logo even before I knew you. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And, that, and that goes a long way. Right. That goes a long way. We call these gifts. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so, he personalized it. You can it, tell it, the These post. ain't the ones he yanked off the, no, off the no, shelf. No. Yeah. These are uh, personalized. Yeah, personalized. Hey, huh? hey, you can tell the people that like free stuff. Only the best folks have like you know. These are like, like free don't, stuff. Don't hate me. Yeah. <laughs> Um, he, be, he be in line to slay the vegan for three hours <laughs> trying to get a cheeseburger. And now I because it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th- I think the last thing would be for me myself. I've take I try to take every situation that's happened in my life and try to flip it into a positive. Mm-hmm. I know Flex and Ralph. I know they know this about me. Um, you know I lost both of my parents. You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. I lost my mom when I was 21. I lost my dad when I was 35. And I'm 41 wow. now. You know wow. what I'm saying. And so instead of Instead of, you know, uh, to, I guess to dedicate to his memory. That's why I did the Fred Pruitt Forever video. Right. That's why I referenced my mom, you know, in some of my songs. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. I referenced, uh, Chris Kelly, you know, you know, just people, situations that I've been through. I just try to, again, flip it into a positive. Sure. Because we all have experienced hurt in some form or fashion, whether it was family, a friend, a loved one, whoever it was. Mm-hmm. And so I, I just try to, you know, relate to the people, man. You know, just, Man, just you know, be relatable. You know, be relatable to the people. You know what I'm saying? We all yeah. we all know what pain feels like. Mm-hmm. We all do, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to show people like I'm I'm nobody special. I'm just like you are. I have bills every month like you are, like you do. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just a person who loves to rap. Okay. You know, I, I do it well. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We appreciate you for following up in the room today. Yeah, hey man, this absolutely. Is, this hey man, is an this, honor, bro. hey man, think about this yeah. is a gift to us, man. Yeah, yeah man, man, this is an honor. Man. We got y'all a, doing y'all thing. We got history. Yeah, man. We got drive. Yeah, we got ambition. We got hey, we got gifts. Yeah. Personalized. Personalized gifts. So they ain't just pick them up on the way. He ain't no, gonna no, get no, no candles on no, the way. Hey, no, and, no. and he don't realize how much we appreciate him, though. <laughs> right. right. I appreciate you know y'all, man. We appreciate it. Hey, man. man. Love is reciprocated, man. You know, man. if you want to get at your boy Diligent, man, uh, man, social media, Instagram, at Diligent Swats. That's D I L I G E N T S W A T S. All together, no underscores, no periods. Diligent Swats. The same on Twitter, um, <laughs> but, um, on Facebook. On Facebook, it's uh, Corey, C-O-R-E-Y, Diligent Pruitt, P-R-E-W-I-T-T, Senior, on Facebook. Um, 8 a.m., we have social media on Instagram. It's uh, at 8, the number 8, AM 2020 on um, Instagram. On Facebook, it's 8 a.m. Artist Page. Okay. Um, Divine Sons, if you want to get the Divine Sons album that we recently dropped. Um, the beautiful again. It's on all platforms. Eight a.m. in the morning. Another yes, one. Another one. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> can I, I can I hit the button? Now? Hold on, I ain't finished. I, I'm sick of your voice. That's, <laughs> that's what that's it's why, about. That's why I hit the button. Hit the I, music, I, then, bro. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, yours is slow. Hey, Corey. Yes, we appreciate you coming yes, through, so, man. man. We appreciate yes, you. Appreciate you. Giving all that knowledge, all that love, and really just highlighting you as a person. I appreciate yeah. it. Man. We talk about music a lot, uh, but your reputation precedes you just as a good dude. Yeah. Straight up. You know what and, I mean? And I think that's more important than anything else. It got to start from somewhere. And, and, and if I may, uh, Sean, I was going to say for the Soundproof Hunger Room. If you guys could uh, take a shot with your 8 a.m. shirts, we definitely want to represent for y'all. Oh, yeah. We'll put your, your social media out there. Oh, that's done. We, 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 we want to put yeah. y'all out there. Oh, yeah. We're going to get on that media. Yeah. We definitely. We, we rep for them. We rep for us. So Already. You know, the love that's is love. Love. That's what's up, man. Absolutely. Appreciate that, man. That's indeed. What we got, bro? You know what time it is. <laughs> Wait for the drop. I'm waiting, too. <laughs> hey, y'all be killing me, man. This, I got to find It was a great something. episode, man. <laughs> great episode. It was. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. 
I'm gonna go scope out all that music now. <laughs> and y'all ever heard of a dream? Y'all ever heard of a grind for that dream? I bring to you my brother. My brother. Yeah. Diligent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on, Diligent. This is me. Yeah, you done. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You good? You good? You good? I'm just playing. You good? Hey, I'm just going, I don't I'm, know. Where do we find him? Where did we find him? I'm just playing. 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 I'm just good brother, man. He bring good energy, and I needed him today. I needed genuine love around me, and I I called my brother, man. I say, yo, can you please do this show today? Y'all don't understand what it's like to be right there and don't and, and ain't got there yet, but he on his way. Yes. Support, support, support. Appreciate. It. And yes, we are beautiful people. Yes, sir. This is the 18th. He don't know his name. He Collie Park Shine, <laughs> and you are. Hey y'all, baby. And hold on, can we get a shout out from the uh, studio audience? <laughs> that's, the nickel, that's the nickel city flex and we out two fingers together we peace